Hostiles, 12 o'clock and 6 miles. What is this tack they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? I don't like the look of this. That was above and beyond. Isn't the Lambda site off-world, sir? I'd like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you, and thank you so much. They found a cavern six miles long, a thousand feet high, and a mile wide that people would start paying attention to the possibilities of Antarctica. But it's very clear that mainstream science is not interested in possibilities. They have ruled out imagination or thinking outside of the box completely. Those of you who have seen what they've done, especially to Jennifer Veterans for Truth, can attest to this. They don't care for anyone believing anything other than their canon. Even though I can show with stunning clarity with satellite images, there are structures down there coming through the melting ice. Gabled roofs. Some have seen many other things. Clear 90 degree walls. A moat or a fence of some type around some type of a building, but in today's video, we're going to go to six different places. Now, we've been to these places before, but it's been a long time. Let's start here. Now, remember that first picture I showed with the steps? If you look clearly, let me get this uh, angled right. You can see this shelf right here, this platform or terrace. And you can see over here to the right, steps going up. And you can see different areas where there are caves. But in this particular case, somebody has taken the time to meticulously create an arrow pointing toward this cave right here. And once again, I'll give you these coordinates, and you can look at this for yourself. You can see the disturbances in the snow. You can see the stairway going up. 
You can see another stairway right here. Another cave. More disturbances. This area here is littered with evidence of human activity. And none of this, none of this is modern. None of this is anywhere near a known base. The structures are near perfect. Right angles or perfect curves. Something that was created. And not far from this, another smoking gun type of image. If you look closely, right here between these two cave openings, one here and one here, you can see four equidistant either individuals or some type of vent structure. But equidistance doesn't occur naturally in nature. Go out into any natural forest and see if you can find even three trees that are equidistant apart, much less four. And once again, is there anything else around that might make you think they're going somewhere or this is some type of event? Once again, a platform, a cave opening, something beneath. And it's not just the straight lines. Sometimes it's the curved ones. This one, to me, was absolutely mind-blowing. Now, you've got this big, snowy area here with all of these different platforms and uh, stark corners and jagged edges. I want you to look real close at something. Look how perfectly curved this is. What is this? That would cast a shadow. It's clearly above whatever it's setting on. You can go all throughout this region and you can find all sorts of things that just do not make sense to just wind, ice, rock and snow, seals and penguins. That's just one area. Over here. The same thing. Some of the strangest, quote-unquote, natural imagery you'll ever see in your life. What is this curved cutout right here? Why does this look like the top of a building? Why is this square? How many 90 degree angles can occur in one area before people would wake up and go, wait a minute, are we seeing what we think we're seeing? These are caves. These are caves and these are tunnels. There's clearly some type of a civilization down here that's moving back and forth from the surface and back underneath. None of this makes any sense to at least what modern science explains it to be. And we've showed this before. This was one of the more popular ones. Check this out. You see this opening right here? Now, the satellite imagery is a little off in a couple of years. But as you can see, there's an opening, and whatever's coming out of or into this opening is causing some type of an effect on the snow outside. Something's either leaving a wake as it goes in, or heat's coming out and causing an effect one way or the other. But this is January 2012. This is 2010. It's not even there. 
It was created sometime between 2010 and January of 2012. Whatever this is. And the last one I'm sure many of you have already seen. In fact, I think even at one time Steve Quayle had covered this, had shown this. But still no explanation. There is absolutely no natural structure in the world that would appear in a shadow like this. You've got parapets. You've got a large trapezoid top structure here. Another part over here. This is clearly some type of ancient medieval type construction, or maybe even far older. And once again, they did a good job of covering up what the actual structure was, but in one layer, and that's the key, looking through the layers, in one layer, they forgot to cover the shadow because of the angle of the sun. This was just an oops on their part, which means they already know. Somebody already knows something. So that's how we know modern science isn't science, at least not when it comes to Antarctica. You've got to wonder what's really hidden. And if they're so concerned about the melting of Antarctica, why isn't this being brought up? Nobody asks that question. Hey, you know, we know that this whole climate change thing, whatever the reason is, maybe is hot, not happening, but we know there's, you know, this, this warm spell that's been hitting different parts of the planet for whatever reason. Could we take advantage of this? I mean, if we can't stop it, could we take advantage of it? Is there, is there some silver lining we could get out of this event? Nobody's asking that question. And that's the real smoking gun. So, anyway, who knows what the next hundred years might bring if we can get the right people back in charge of science and looking into the real important issues that will face us. God bless. Have a great week. Like, share, subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. would like to briefly take a moment and say thank you to everyone who has continued to join us over the Florida Maquis Patreon channel. The Holy Bible teaches us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. If you'd like to join us over there, it's only one U.S. dollar per month at the base level, and even less than that if you sign up for an entire year, and no matter what level you choose, it's fully refundable. First 90 days, no questions asked. What's the difference between YouTube and Patreon? At Patreon, we can take the gloves off. There are no sensors. We have, of course, the Patreon firewall, and then we also have Vimeo that we're partnering with, and that gives us one extra layer of protection where we can speak our minds and we can take advantage of rights that we used to enjoy in this country freely. Would love to have you over there. There are hundreds of of exclusive videos never before seen here on YouTube. Please, if you have the ability, would love to have you over there. You won't regret it. God bless all of you and thank you so much. Hot time, 12 o'clock and six miles. What is this tech they're looking for anyway? It's some kind of weapon left by the ancients. The kind that decides who wins the war. Have Moloch's warriors been here before? <laughs>